Nelly, your character's just been revealed. I know. Nelly Cameron, what can you, what can you tell us about her? How excited is it to join Marvel? Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's incredibly exciting. I, to be able to be a part of the Marvel Universe is a dream. You know, I remember when, when Jeff called to congratulate me and he said, when I got the role, and he said, you know, welcome to the Marvel Universe, and it was, I got goosebumps, and, you know, I feel really grateful and fortunate and lucky. Um, in terms of the character that I get to play, Louise, um, you know, she's, she's human, and she's, she is, I would say, the, the eyes and the ears of the audience. Uh, she sort of grounds the show and, and everything that the viewers are, you know, come to learn or, or find or everyone that they meet, uh, they will learn through through my character because I'm learning and meeting and finding it out along with them. Uh, and she brings she brings an element of, of levity in the, to the show that is really great because it is a family drama and the stakes are high for them and, and what's going on in their world uh, and in Adelan and, and their family dynamics and relationships and all of that. So it's nice to maybe have a little bit of uh, a little bit of levity. And, and my character is not someone who's maybe the most self-aware or aware of. The situation. So sometimes when you have, it's not that like she's this big comic, you know, comical character, but you know when you have a character who's so focused and driven on work and socially uh, maybe is not her best area and isn't the most aware when you have things that are happening uh, that are happening in, in the human world that are so where the stakes are so high, it can be kind of funny if someone's not really picking up on that. Um, but it was fun. It was a really fun, it was a really fun character to play, and I hope I get to play it for a long time to come. Scott, the uh, sort of the, the storyline of Inhumans is possibly the most political fueled one I think we've had in Marvel television so far. What was it like kind of crafting this really kind of complicated um, political life story? Um, based off what you were, the world you were able to do, and based off what Agents of Shield and some of the other programs have also crafted for you to like pull from, how is it to craft the story? We were not particularly aiming to be political, but yet we knew we were touching on a, a lot of subjects that that are especially topical right now. So we we felt like we had to be very careful about how we told that story, and and part of it is that our heroes are not perfect people. Uh, they are, their society is not a fair society, not really a just society. They are the royal family and they are not fully aware of the world that they live in. It's almost like only when they themselves are forced to become refugees on planet Earth that are their eyes fully open to the societies that they've lived in. And, you know, there's the risk that because of that, the audience may not like some of these people all that much, but hopefully they'll be a little patient with them and give them a little time to, to learn how these people are, are struggling to change. Because Maximus, who is definitely our antagonist of the series, is not the villain. There are a lot of the things that he is saying at the beginning of our show are things that we absolutely believe in. You know, he's, he's, he's talking about the injustices in, in their world. So, you know, Maximus is initially, in so many ways, more likable and more approachable than, than any of our other characters. Yeah. A word that comes to mind to me in, with the series is, like, empathy. You know, because it's not just black and white. It's not good and bad people. You know, you really have to come to... Under, everyone always has a point, or you have to you empathize with maybe where that person's coming from. You can empathize with why the royal family maybe is uh, the way that they are because that's been their world. You know, that's what they know. You can, you can empathize and understand a lot of the things that Maximus and points that he's bringing up that are, you know, flaws within the Indian world or within Adelan. Um, and you might not, I mean, there, there are going to be times where you might really like a character or you might disagree with something that they're doing, but even as a viewer, I think that it would be, a, like you just said, sticking with it and, and, you know, not just being like, I don't like that character, I don't like what they did, but, you know, empathize. Maybe they, you don't like what they did in that moment, but maybe, you know, you have to empathize where, they, where they're coming from, or you might like them in the Lickiter episode and agree with something else they did, but even as a viewer, um, you know, empathizing with these characters as well. I'm sorry, I have to wrap.